Preoperative assessment investigation for anesthesia full blood count renal function test urinalysis random blood sugar liver function test coagulation profile echo ECG chest x-ray. Instructions related to modification in pre-existing medical therapy. Oral hypoglycemic oral hypoglycemics should be continued omitting the morning dose. However, sulfonylurea and metformin have lozure half-lives so they need to be stopped 24 to 68 hours before suffering. Insulin Most of the patients are either on intermediates acting or mixed insulin. Adjustments in the doses of insulin are required as per the regime followed. There are different protocols followed by different institutions. Oral contraceptive estrogen increases the chances of postoperative deep vein thrombosis and thromboembolism. Therefore standard dose estrogen containing pills should be stopped 4 weeks before. Pills containing only progesterone or low dose estrogen need not be stopped. Oral anticoagulants Standard oral anticoagulants, warfarin, coumadin, should be stopped 4 days prior to surgery. The newer one, dabagatran, pradaxa, should be stopped 3 days prior rivaroxaban, xarelto, and apazavan, iliquis, 48 hours prior, and edoxaban 72 hours prior to surgery. However, before considering surgery it is mandatory to check whether the effect of oral anticoagulant has been weaned off or not by doing INR before surgery INR must be 1.5 to consider the patient for surgery. Continue if stapping of warfarin is not possible like in prosthetic heart valve then switched prior to heparin which is stopped L2-24 hour prior to surgery in case urgency, effect of oral anticoagulants can be reversed with vitamins K but if is not possible to wait for 6 to 12 hours, vitamin K takes 6 to 12 hours to completely sever the effects of warfarin, then patient can be taken up for surgery. After transfusing fresh frozen plasm, Heparin low molecular weight heparin, LMWH, inoxaparin should be stopped 12 to 24 hours prior to surgery, prophylactic dose 12 hours while therapeutic dose has to be stopped 24 hours prior, dot standard, unfractionated, heparin has short half-life, therefore stopping 6 to 12 hours before surgery is sufficient while long-acting such as fondaparinex. Extra should be stopped 48 to 72 hours, 48 hours for prophylactic dose and 72 hours for therapeutic. <music> Thrombolytic, alteplase, urokinase, streptokinase, patients can be considered for elective surgery 10 days after the last dose of these drugs. Antiplatelets aspirin, although aspirin increases the risk of bleeding but stopping aspirin carries the risk of ischemia, therefore it is recommended to continue aspirin. Clopidogrel, should be stopped 5 days prior to surgery. Other less commonly used antiplatelets such as dipyridamol should be stopped 48 hours ticlopidine 14 days, abciximab 2 days, and eptifibatide 8 hours prior to surgery. In case of emergency surgery, when there is no time to stop antiplatelets, 
then patient can be taken for surgery after platelet transfusion. Antihypertensive All antihypertensives on which the patient blood pressure is controlled should be continued except for angiotensin IL antagonist N and angiotensin converting enzyme, ACE, inhibitors where morning dose is withheld. Studies have found a higher incidence and of significant unhypertension in patients who were continued with the morning dose of angiotensin II antagonist and ACE inhibitors. Antidepressants, SSRI, ricyclic antidepressants, reversible MAO inhibitors and MA0B, selegiline, has to be continued. However, MAO-A inhibitors, which are not used nowadays, can significantly increase the levels of catecholamines, therefore need to be stopped three weeks before surgery. Thank you for watching.